Hey everyone, I've got another amazing house I'm gonna be showing you right here at Pratt Homes. Actually, this may be the first one I put out, I don't know. But I'm touring several of them here the, the next few days. This is in Tyler, Texas. Let me give you just a quick little scan. They got tiny houses, huge modular homes, uh, just you know your basic manufactured homes. They've got a little bit of everything here, okay? This is the one we're gonna be touring today. This is the Scarlet. And you see all those windows? Well, I'm gonna let your mind wonder for a minute what's on the other side of that. I wanna give you a quick little exterior look, then we'll head in. Water faucet, electrical outlet, side door right there. That's gonna be in the utility room. So what do we got around back? Let's see, here we go. Oh, oh wow, that was fast. All right, look at all this. So yeah, we got multiple sections on this house. We've got this very nice siding. We got an electrical outlet right there as well. Let me give you a close up. This is that very nice, hardy, smart board, whatever you'd like to call it. Big roof pitch as we circle back around. That house is huge. That house, oh my gosh, I just toured that one. That one's crazy big as well. This house actually is not, um, I mean, it's a great size, don't get me wrong, but it's not like a lot of overkill, you know, a lot of wasted space. It's precise in every area. I like that a lot about it. Let's go ahead and head in, y'all. If you will, drop a like. I would appreciate that. And I would recommend subscribing and hitting the notification bell because we're posting a lot of homes from here and then I go all over the nation touring these amazing homes. Let's go. so as we walk in look at this man i'm telling y'all the floor plan on this one is well there's so many wonderful floor plans out here i can't act like this is the baddest one here okay but i'm just saying i really like it it's not your basic walk in everything's right there you can tell it's like where's the kitchen at we don't even know at this point do we <laughs> it's over that way we've got this beautiful lvp flooring now I can't say enough great things about the build quality of these houses. I mean, look, we're talking nine foot ceilings. Look at this crown molding, these baseboards. Let me give you a close up. Got your HDMI, your plug, your satellite there, and then you've got this right here. So this is obviously a real wood chip lap for your TV or what you know, whatever you decided to put there. Now here, here's what you've been waiting on. Look at this. Man, I love that. I love that view. Look at that. I mean, it's a overcast day. I'll go ahead and tell you, honestly, I'm doing a lot of inside tours today. I'm going to do the outside tomorrow uh, because it's going to be raining all day. But, I mean, look at those windows. Could you imagine the light coming in on a beautiful sunshine and day? Ooh. I love you to the fridge and back. <laughs> I like that. Okay, back to the dining spot. Sorry, sorry, you guys. You know, in these big crazy houses, I get a little carried away. You gotta hang with me, hang with me. Look at this table with these chairs, very nice. I feel like Caitlin would love this. Twenty one hundred square foot is what it says. Triple section. Wow. Here's some upgrades that you have. If you want to pause and look at that. Actually, while I'm over here, let me show you this refrigerator. Well, I mean, we got we can we got open both sides. Let's start out over here. Uh, 
All right, I gotta get a look in here. So yeah, this has got those shelves. You know, you see the holes right here. You can adjust, go all the way down. You can put your uh, shelves wherever you'd like. We've got soft closed cabinets. What I love about seeing the Franklin houses here in Texas is the fact that, you know, I've toured a lot of them in Alabama over that way. And just to see that you can get them here is awesome. Actually, I've toured a lot in Arkansas too, so. Uh, but you can kind of see all the different areas they cover. Man. Okay, so I really just noticed this, this these drawers. But also, but look at our countertops right here. They go all the way down there. So you've got a lot of countertop space. You got that backsplash goes all the way down, built-in microwave, a lot of electrical outlets down through here. Electrical outlet right here with your USB plugs as well. Okay, we can spend more time in there, but I need to get the show on the road. Let's go over here and look at our guest bedrooms and our secondary bath or guest bath, whatever you'd like to call it. Look, we got these same tall ceilings going to be throughout this house. Let's go in here first. So I just seen a lot of nice looking decor in that other bedroom that we're gonna be able to look at. So this bedroom is gonna be off the front of your home. You got these nice windows here, very tall windows, as you can tell. Crown molding baseboards in here, and then you've got these, got these double doors as well. Give me a, give you a shot of the closet. Check this out, some different tops that we have. Huge shower tub combo. It's gonna be brought to you by Baymont. I've actually seen a lot of their uh, fiberglass showers and tubs and stuff. They're a, they're a huge, manufacturer of these tubs we've got us a window up top once again still got the nine foot ceilings now let's see what do we have in here all right i love seeing this type of stuff you just kind of you can see all the different options i mean let's let's take it for just to let's take it slow for just a second look at our different cabinets that we have franklin goes above me on with their backsplash some of this would be like in your shower as well and then also like your your, your floor, you know, they have that rock, all these different types of tile for your shower. Um, so many things that you have options on. You got different carpet. Here we go. And that's gonna be like your actual tile in your shower as well. Same thing with the double doors in this closet. Let me give you a look. Let me give you a look. Thought that was Ole Miss stuff. Like, hold up. I got Ole Miss stuff out here in Texas, y'all. <laughs> y'all know I live close to Oxford. All right. So uh, let's go look at the utility room, and then we'll finish up with that main bedroom. We'll be done. I actually, I'm going to hop behind the camera uh, and give you some information that maybe I don't cover here in the tour that'll be very resourceful for you. So we come back this way. I like how you kind of have this area here. You know, you kind of, this area kind of separates everything off. Let's start off with the utility room. You've got a huge room in here. There's that side door. We've got a washer and dryer, but nothing tight. You know, your washer and dryer is probably going to come out somewhere right around here. So then just think about all this different space you have. I'm definitely seeing some type of stand-up freezer over here, possibly. Or a chest freezer or something. You know, you could 
Got some different options. Let's see, water heaters behind there. You got cabinets and the hanging rod. I like to see that. Breaker box. Now, I noticed these two doors. I know this is gonna be your furnace. What is this gonna be? Nice storage closet. Can't go wrong with that. Okay, now to the main bedroom. Look at the size of this bedroom. Look how massive that bed is. And if you can't tell from the video, I don't know, you know, sometimes it's kind of hard to judge. This bed is huge. Like, I'm assuming it's just a king size bed, but I guess it's maybe the bed frame and the and the headboard and everything, but it just looks crazy big. But then if, if you really get a whole look at the room, look how much room you have over there. Look how much room you have over here. I'll have some dimensions and stuff for you. Get right here in the corner. All right. If you thought the bedroom's huge, let me show you the bath. It's not really that, I'm just kidding. It's, <laughs> it's probably one of the coolest features on this house. We're gonna start out though with this area and then I'm gonna show you the tub and the shower closet and all that. Okay, here's the tub. Look at all the cabinets and drawers. Huge tub, but you even have space around through here and then all the way on this side as well. Like how they took a little bit of this towel right here. You got some really nice faucets. I mean, that thing is huge. I wish I had somebody videoing with me. I would love to just get off in that and show you just how massive that is. I mean, y'all, you've probably seen one. All right, come back here. Look at this. So this is what I'm talking about. You've got this tile here. You see how they work that rock in there. And then you're gonna have it also down here at the bottom. Your, uh, your bench area even has the same thing. Look at that. closet great great size room got you a door here for some privacy Cullen he likes the door shut when he goes to the bathroom so you know a lot of people are that way <laughs> he tells us he's got to go to the bathroom so I take him in there and then once I get in there and he sits down he's like okay you can leave now <laughs> I'm like, you don't need me to stay in here and help? He's like, no, shut the door, please. <laughs> Look at the size of this closet. So we're looking at a house that's around 2,100 square foot, okay? The exterior's popping, but it's not like, it's not one of those 3,000 square foot houses where you just got way too much space, am I right? Am I right? You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I'm saying for real though. 2,100 square foot, but then everything in this house is just top of the line. I mean, there's not one thing in here that's low quality, low build. You could tell, I mean, this house is just built to the max and every room is big. I mean, look at the size of our kitchen. Look at the size of our room, living room. Those two bedrooms were big. The main bedroom is massive. The closet's huge. The bath is huge. You touch a room. This house kind of has it all, you guys. I'm gonna talk about it a little bit more in detail here behind the camera at my back at my office. But before we do that, y'all please share this video. 
If you're out this way, you come check them out. You need to. But if you will, if you do, please tell them you watch the tours. They say they have a lot of people come from the videos. And I really appreciate y'all sharing that with them. That helps when they get new stuff. You know, they're like, hey, I need to call Chance, get him, get him to come toward the stuff, which really helps me out a lot. So thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe and notification bell as well. So there you have it. That's another amazing home that's located at Pratt Homes in Tyler, Texas. Uh, the three different times I've been there, y'all, I've probably toured together well over, maybe close to 75 homes, or something like that. And I love their place, and I know I've said it a bunch already, so I'm going to get right into the information. But I just want to say I love it because they got a little bit of everything. This is the Scarlet. Give me one second. Let me pull up their uh, site right here so I can give some information on their website. You can check it out if you want to online. It's lpratthomes.com. I'll have some information in the description if you want to use that as well. You can. This is a house manufactured by Franklin, so they carry a lot of different manufacturers there as well. This house actually reminds me of one. I'm on, uh, I'll see if I can find that thumbnail. It's been several years ago of a home that I did at Franklin's plant. Uh, it's, the model is the Azalea. The floor plan kind of reminds me a little bit of that one. Uh, it's not the same, but it just has a lot of similarities. And so you can always customize and do a lot of crazy things with these homes. So keep that in mind. And that's one thing that Pratt Homes does really uh, does a lot there at their place is customization. A lot of the models they have, you're not going to find anywhere else. So that's cool to me. Maybe it is to you. Uh, this house is close to 2,000 square foot and it's going to be built very well, built to state code and all that good stuff being a modular home. What I would say though, what I th just thought about is uh, Franklin builds manufactured, you know, HUD homes as well. So you could probably still get this poten this home potentially built as a HUD. So keep that in mind. Also, like I've already mentioned, we'll have some information in the description. Our links will be in there. If you're gonna check out our website, members area, second channel and all that. The videos on here come out Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday night, 6.45 Central Time. As always, I gotta tell y'all next week, I'm gonna be going on a trip and I'm gonna be getting some brand new stuff okay so stay tuned i'll probably probably start rolling it out as soon as the next weekend so just stay tuned uh because the next few months actually are going to be some pretty great things happening with with a lot of brand new stuff that we've never ever seen models and all that kind of stuff as well anyways let's get into estimated retail pricing on this house this is what pratt homes has provided to me now First time seeing the channel, I basically travel all around the nation touring these houses for y'all to look at. Uh, I'm not directly selling these houses, okay? You would need to contact Pratt Homes if you're in their area. They're gonna cover their state in Texas and some surrounding states as well. And obviously if you're in Florida or you know up north or Pennsylvania, something like that, Pratt Homes wouldn't be able to say that this house, but I will say, for instance, Florida, uh, does have Franklin Homes. So you'd have to do some research on that and that's some stuff we go over in the members area. But yeah, this would be, at their location, their pricing starting is a starting price, okay? Just keep in mind, as always, it depends on the options you go with on a house, exactly how far it was gonna be freighted, uh, county, state fees, all that good stuff. But with all that being said, here's what I got for you. Before we get into that though, let me, <laughs> I'm just kidding, here it is. Last thing I'll say, and then I'm gonna step out is the fact that I have so many other homes just on this last previous trip from at this location. So if you're around the area and you know, you don't wanna get out right now because it's, I don't know, 32 degrees outside and you wanna look at some more of their amazing homes, they're gonna be recently here on the channel. I might have some other videos popping up as well. Y'all check out some more tours and definitely come back and hang with me Thursday night. I will see you all Thursday night. God bless you. Take care of yourself, stay safe, and I'll see you then.